friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday, it's Monday so it's another meal prep day. I have three delicious and when I say delicious, I mean delicious recipes for you, summer inspired and they are all just so incredibly, incredibly good. I can't wait to share them with you. So if you're excited for another meal prep, give this video a big huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and definitely helps out my channel and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. I can figure those for you to help you reach whatever your health goals are. And if you want to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. We'd love to have you head on over and join the supportive, positive community that my Facebook group is. So head on over and join us. So let's jump in to meal prep. Cause we are Got time and we're wasted Got no plans for the night for breakfast this week, I'm making a Whole30 approved sweet potato protein breakfast bowl. I don't care that it's Whole30 approved. I just wanted a nice, clean, healthy breakfast. So let me show you what's in this sweet potato protein bowl. First, you're going to need some sweet potatoes. I'm going to make three separate bowls. I went ahead and figured my points for a medium sized sweet potato on the blue and green plan. And then of course on purple, sweet potatoes are zero. You're also going to need some toppings of your choice. I'm choosing for chia seeds. You could do cacao nibs, hemp hearts, nut butter, really whatever you wanted, but I'm going to add the extra protein and healthy fats of the chia seeds. For my protein, I'm going to go with the Devotion Angel Food Cake Protein. I just wanted to make sure that whatever protein I chose was only one point per scoop, and I think that the flavor profile of the Devotion is going to go really well in this breakfast bowl. So this has 20 grams of protein per scoop, and like I said, it's only one smart point. There's no added sugar, one gram of MCT per serving. It's gluten-free and they have their patented six enzyme formula. So Devotion is amazing. My favorites are angel food cake and the brownie batter and the mocha. So I'm going to add this to my protein bowl, one scoop for one point and 20 grams of protein. I will link Devotion down below with a discount code for you guys. You'll also need one small banana per bowl. So I have two pretty large bananas. I'm just going to divide them out into the three bowls some fresh raspberries and some fresh blueberries. So let's get started on breakfast. So the first thing I'm going to do is cook my sweet potatoes. So I went ahead and rinsed them off, added them to a paper plate. I just cover them with a wet paper towel and I'm going to throw them in the microwave. It's probably going to take about 10 minutes or so for them to cook. I do check them midway. You can re-wet your paper towel. That's just going to help them cook and steam. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my sweet potatoes into the microwave. So the first thing I'm going to do once I took my sweet potatoes out of the microwave is I'm going to cut them open they are fully cooked. It took about 15 minutes. And then I'm just going to scoop out all of the inside and put it here in a bowl. So I went ahead and added all of the sweet potato to my bowl, mashed it up. I'm going to show you guys how I figure out what three servings of this whole batch is for my three bowls. I'm going to add my three scoops of devotion powder directly to the sweet potatoes. And then we're going to just stir in the protein powder. So to determine how much total sweet potato mixture I have, I'm going to add it to my zeroed out food scale. I have this set into grams into a clean bowl. So I'm going to add in all that sweet potato mixture. So total in the bowl, I have 655 grams of sweet potato mixture. So I get this question all the time. So this makes three servings. So I will take 655 grams, divide that by three, and that is how many grams of the sweet potato mixture 
per bowl. So that's approximately 218 grams per bowl. So I'm going to scoop into my meal prep bowl 218 grams. There we go. That's 218 grams of the sweet potato mixture. That is a good amount. And then I'm just going to repeat that in the second bowl and then add what's ever left to the third bowl. So there are my three bowls. Then I'm going to take my two bananas and I'm just going to slice them evenly right on top. And I'm going to divide these two bananas between all three bowls. And then with my fresh raspberries, you can do as much or as little. Fruit is zero points, very, very low in calories. So I'm just going to take what's left here of my raspberries, which is quite a bit. I would say this is at least a cup, cup and a half. They need to get used up and add them here to the bowl. Next is my little six ounces of blueberries. These are very July 4th-esque, which I like because it's right around the corner. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of chia seeds just right over the top to each bowl. And there's my sweet potato protein breakfast bowl. You can eat this warm, you can eat this cold. By putting the chia seeds on top, they won't get gelatinous if you were to mix them in with the sweet potato mixture. I'm so excited for this. This looks absolutely Incredible. So let's go over points and calories. So for the sweet potato bowl, minus any toppings, because again, you can choose the toppings that you would like to put on your bowl. It is seven points on the blue and green plan and only one point on the purple plan. And then my chia seeds is only one additional point. So for me, it would be eight points on the blue plan and the calories are here on the screen for you. This is such a great way to get in healthy carbs, proteins, and with those chia seeds, Seeds, some extra healthy fat. Maybe it's cause we are got time and we're wasted. Got no pens for the night. For my lunch this week, I'm making a glazed hoisin, or in my case, a little different flavored meatballs. And we're going to put this in a bowl with some rice. So this is a glazed hoisin meatball bowl. So let me show you what's in lunch. You're going to need some whole carrots, soy sauce minced garlic, hoisin sauce. I'm going to use this honey gojang sauce. Just this has been in my fridge and I don't want it to go to waste. I used it for a meal prep recipe about a month ago. So I'm gonna use this in place of hoisin just again so I wasn't being wasteful and didn't buy an additional sauce that I really only need a couple tablespoons of. I'm going to serve mine over jasmine rice. You'll need some light butter, 96% extra lean ground beef, ginger, you can either do breadcrumbs or a slice of bread, whatever you have on hand, and then some salt and pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my rice started. So in a medium saucepan, I'm going to add one cup of uncooked rice and then I'm going to add two cups of water and get this on the stove top. Then I'm going to peel and dice five carrots. Mine are pretty small. The recipe asks for four carrots but since mine are so small I'm going to go ahead and do five. <laughs> My carrots were on a sheet pan sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to just sprinkle on just a tiny bit of salt and pepper. Kind of swirl those around to get them coated in the salt and pepper and the cooking spray. And these are going into a 450 degree oven until they're roasted through. It should take about 10 to 12 minutes. Into a medium bowl, I added my pound of 96% ground beef, one quarter cup of breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, about a teaspoon of ginger, and then a couple teaspoons of minced garlic. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my hands and mix this all together. That's the easiest way to get it fully combined. So you can see that my carrots were not in the oven. My oven is still preheating. So I decided to go ahead and add my meatballs to the other half of the sheet pan. It doesn't matter how many meatballs you get out of the batch of the meat mixture. We'll just divide the number that we got by the number of servings. 
to my cooked rice, I'm going to add my one tablespoon of light butter, and I'm just going to stir that in to coat the rice. This will also help the rice from sticking together. I'm going to add one half of a cup of rice to each of my meal prep bowls, and then set this aside while the rest of the meatballs and the carrots are cooking. into a medium sized bowl we're going to make the sauce for our meatballs and when our meatballs come out of the oven we'll roll them in the sauce so you're going to add three tablespoons of hoisin or whatever sauce you're using for your meatballs and then two tablespoons of soy sauce go ahead and stir that together and we'll set this aside until our meatballs are out of the oven Sorry about the trouble with the audio. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Luckily, I was able to grab the file and add this voiceover to finish out my meal prep because these recipes are so good. I want you guys to be able to make them. So add all of your meatballs to a bowl. Make sure that you stir them really well to get them nice and coated. So here's basically what they should look like. So delicious, you guys. I can't wait for this recipe. So each day, I went ahead and added half of a cup of rice to my meal prep bowl. Each day, I'm also adding adding three meatballs, making sure that I scoop up a little bit of that extra sauce. I end up removing one of these meatballs because I realized it was three per bowl, not four for a total of 12 meatballs. Add some of those delicious roasted carrots and then top it with a little bit of those green onions. And this is what the bowl looks like. These are absolutely incredible. I had this for lunch yesterday. I did find that the rice was a little bit dry, so my recommendation would be to add some additional sauce. Just take the extra point for the sauce. If you don't want to use points, you could also add some soy sauce, but I'm going to put together the rest of my meal prep bowls. Again, adding three meatballs per bowl, not four. You're making four bowls, and there's 12 meatballs total. Divide those carrots into four servings as well, and then top each one of the bowls with some of those green onions. Like I said, this meal prep was so, so good. Yesterday, I didn't add any sauce, but today I'm going to add a little bit of extra sauce and just count for the extra point. Again, here's what the finished meal prep glazed hoisin meatball bowls look like. Very, very good. Highly recommend this recipe. You could change up a lot of the sauces and seasonings to change up the vibe of the recipe, but it was really, really delicious. Nice and filling. Perfect lunch, perfect dinner. It is four points on all plans just for the meatball mixture, 209 calories. I did not include points for rice in the video here. I did on my website though, because you have the option whether or not you want Want to add rice my bowl the way that I have it laid out is seven points and 369 calories that includes the meatballs and the rice and that's how I plan to eat it all week so for a snack I am making a lemon cream cheese muffin this is per Troy's request he asked for something lemony so the ingredients that you're going to need for these muffins are pretty simple they should be things that you have mainly in your pantry starting with of course some eggs one third less fat or fat free cream cheese a lemon and lemon extract if you have that on hand I didn't use lemon extract I just added a little bit of extra lemon zest and lemon juice because I didn't have any lemon extract on hand some zero percent or non-fat Greek yogurt, light butter, vanilla extract, baking powder, baking soda, powdered sugar. This is the Lakanto, the monk fruit powdered. I will link Lakanto down in the description box with 15% off for you, but this is that particular powdered sugar. It's my favorite. Some all-purpose flour, some salt, and then I'm using the Lakanto monk fruit granulated sweetener as well. All of that is on their website and you can use the link and discount code for anything on their website. So we're going to first add our dry ingredients to a medium sized bowl, starting with our flour adding in a little bit of salt about a quarter of a teaspoon some baking powder and baking soda and the key with dry ingredients is to make sure that you mix them really well so those leavening agents get mixed in with all of the flour now we're going to move on to our wet ingredients starting with adding in 
the non-fat Greek yogurt. It's two thirds of a cup. This is going to give it a creamy texture. We're also then going to add in about a third cup of light butter and two eggs. This is going to, of course, help bind the muffins together. We're also going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract. And like I said, I ended up using the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener and really zhuzhed it up with extra lemon zest and extra lemon juice. Make sure you do reserve a little bit of the juice because you're going to add that to the glaze for the muffins as well. And then on medium speed with your handheld mixer or by hand, go ahead and mix these wet ingredients until combined. Add in your dry ingredients and then on low speed, we're going to mix this just until combined. Make sure not to over mix. It can change the texture of your muffins. In an additional bowl, go ahead and add the entire eight ounces of one third less fat or fat free cream cheese. Again, some monk fruit sweetener, a little bit more vanilla extract, never hurt anybody. And then give this a big stir with a spoon. Spray your muffin pan with some nonstick cooking spray or add some liners. We are going to fill it a little less than halfway full with the muffin mixture. We want to leave room to add that cream cheese filling to the middle of the muffin. So now I'm going to add with my small scoop a little bit of that cream cheese filling to the middle of all 12 muffins and then top it with the remaining muffin mix. That way that cream cheese is in the middle and it's ooey and gooey and incredible when it comes out of the oven. Use the rest of your batter to fill up your 12 muffin spot. Pop this into your oven. Again, this recipe will be on my website with all of of the cooking directions. Once the muffins come out of the oven and they are nice and cooled, we're going to start putting together the glaze. Starting with our Lakanto powdered sugar, three quarters of a cup, we're going to add that to a small bowl. Now add in your lemon juice little by little until you have a good glaze consistency. You can always add more liquid, but you can't take it out. I did end up using all of the lemon juice that I had reserved and a tiny bit of water just to make that perfect glazed consistency and it worked like a dream go ahead and add the rest of the liquid in and stir again until you have that glazed consistency top all of your muffins with the glaze and then allow them to rest so that glaze can harden a little bit on the muffin what's great about this is it sinks into all the crevices and then on the bottom of the muffin it gets this nice coating of the glaze oh my gosh these are absolutely incredible. I'm pretty sure Troy ate like four of these the day that I pulled them out of the oven. And I would say that at this point, a couple days later, they're about halfway gone. That glaze just adds the perfect amount of sweetness. That lemon is that bright summer flavor that we're craving. And these muffins are only four points on all plans and 166 calories, which is incredible for a glazed cream cheese filled muffin. Like I said, we love these. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know this was a little bit cumbersome having to do the voiceover, but I wanted to share this meal prep with you because all of these recipes are so incredibly delicious. So make sure you thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, of course, I'd love to have you here. Go ahead and hit the little subscribe button and better yet, click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching my recipe website, links and discounts to everything I shared with you today, as well as my Facebook group. Head on over, join us there as well. Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye friends.